Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon. This beautiful, sunny afternoon. Summer has finally come. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 28. When he made firm the skies above, when the springs of the deep became fixed. And you get the... Uh, impression now that Solomon is really speaking on behalf of God and he's declaring as it were when something took place and you may well ask yourself the question did God create I was speaking to someone today and we were talking about creation did God create did he make all of this that we now have as what we might call normality, the normality of carnality. Did God make this? And Solomon is completely assured. And he gives this list of when this took place and when that took place. And he's basically reaffirming and reassuring us as to who the creator was. And he then likens the companion of the creator and he says, wisdom was the creator's companion. That wisdom was there with the creator when these things were taking place. When God began to move on the earth and make a difference to, as it were, the uh, vacuum of nothing so that something became a reality. Uh, when these things took place, he made firm the skies. I don't quite know what firm the skies mean, except perhaps that the substance of the air uh, wasn't as we know it, uh, it was something other than that. And then all of a sudden, God said that the heavens appear and then the sky became as we know it, when the springs of the deep became fixed. And so that sense of the dynamics of what would contain water, uh, the seas and the lakes and the rivers and all the different things that are there in the earth that contain. He says, when these became fixed, do you question God's word? How do we approach God's word? Do we have a bias towards having to be convinced or has those things that we have perhaps questioned in the past now being settled because how we approach the word will ultimately determine how we receive the word and if God is having to convince us all the time every time we read something that's a bit supernatural we are going to have a long slow journey of progress but once the issue of a supernatural God who created has been resolved then taken on board the reality of Jesus healing the sick and raising the dead and casting out demons and all the things that have been promised are very easy to accept because he is able, because he is God. So ask yourself today the question, are these issues being resolved or are they still unresolved? Are you still needing God to convince you that he's the creator? Solomon says he's convinced. When these things took place, wisdom was there. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow.